Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you're all doing really well. So it's actually Easter Sunday today and I have just been doing a little bit of cleaning downstairs. Um, I've been up for a few hours now. I just had a shower, did my hair and my makeup and got dressed. And I do want to take the girls out a little bit later. Because it's Easter, I want to take them to Jersey Girls to get their favourite ice creams for them. Um, but before I head out, I do need to do some cleaning. As you can see behind me, my bed is an absolute tip. I do want to clean the upstairs um, before I head out anywhere. I do want to just clean up, tidy up to make sure the house is nice and clean. And I can't go anywhere yet anyway because my husband is at work and I don't have my car because someone decided to hit into me a couple of weeks ago. So it's actually still in the garage. So I don't have a car, I can't go very far. So yeah, we'll wait for my husband to get home and then I do wanna take the girls out. But for now, let's do a little bit of cleaning. I think I wanna change the sheets today as well. I may as well if I've got the time, but before I do that, I'm actually going to pick out an outfit for Hannah, get her dressed and then I'll move on to some cleaning and then we'll get on with the day. my girls um, I've been really quiet to be honest with making videos past couple of weeks because it's the Easter holidays it's just so difficult to try and film with the girls it's been very loud at home um, so yeah I've just not been filming but I thought I'd continue this video go for a little walk because I honestly am craving to get back into my normal routine where I can take the girls to school um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take them out for a walk. I'm gonna take the pram as well because I haven't got the patience for any tantrums and I can't carry Hannah back home. So I'm gonna take the pram and then I'll let her have a little walk when she wants to. But yeah, I'm honestly craving to get back into a normal routine where I can just take them to school, drop them off, and then I can actually start my day, do a little bit of walking, come home, you know, things like that. So at the moment it's all over the place. So I'm just gonna make the most of it. There's not that long left. And then they do go back next week. So yeah, I'm just gonna head off for a walk and I'll take you with us.
from our walk. Honestly, the weather is so beautiful outside today. It's really nice and sunny. There's a little breeze um, and it's really nice. So we actually went for a walk and then we stopped off in the park. The girls had a little play and now we are back home. But I'm just about to make something that I gave you a sneak peek of a few weeks ago. It's actually the chocolate tiffin. So I am going to film this um, for a separate video because it's just easier if I do it that way, then I could do a nice voiceover because I've got kids in the house and it'll be noisy if I try and do it this way. So I will film it, but for a separate video, but I will show you what it looks like before I pop it into the fridge. And then obviously I'll show you later on when I cut into it. So yeah, I've got all my ingredients set out here in front of me. And I'm just going to crack on and start this and then I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so I've just finished filming and I made this tiffin. So this is the Maltesers one. So I'm just going to pop this into the fridge now for a few hours. I'm not going to take it out for a good four or five hours. I'm going to let it set. Then I'll cut into it and I will show you what it looks like. But this is what it's looking like. If you do want to see how I made it, then just look out for the recipe. It might already be up before this video. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pop this in the fridge now and I'll take it out later. So I just got a parcel that I've been waiting for for over a week and a half, I think. So I actually got something off TikTok shop um, and I know what this one is. I'm actually waiting for one more parcel that's taking forever to come. But anyway, this is a pack of eight fridge organizers because honestly, when I look into my fridge, it really winds me up because everything is just a mess. So I got these. Let me just open it up and show you what they look like. So here we go, we've got a pack of eight um, and these were £20 for eight, which I thought were really good because I really want to organise my fridge. I think with these, everything will just look so much neater because at the moment, even though I try and keep it nice and tidy, it just always ends up looking really messy. So yeah, I'm just going to start um, by giving these a rinse and then I think I'm just going to crack on and start organising my fridge. Okay, so I have just rinsed them really well and now I'm going to start filling them with things from my fridge. But one thing I will say is my fridge is not that full at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to use many of these. But when I get my next shop, what I'll do is obviously I will start filling them up a little bit more because I'm literally almost out of fruit. I've not got many veggies. So I'm just going to see what's in the fridge, try and organise that for now and then obviously we will top everything up once I get my next shop. Okay, so I only ended up using four for now. So I've got this one for all the sauces and the condiments. I've got one for cheese. I've got here the two for yogurts. Really, I would probably only use one for yogurts because we never have this many yogurts in the house. But for some reason this week, Asda multiplied the amount of yogurts that I ordered. So that's why I've got two lots. Normally it'd just be one and then I've got one free here. And of course I've got the tiffin that I made earlier that's just chilling here as well and then I've got the eggs and I've got a few bits down here I ended up putting the yogurts down here and the veggies are still in this one here so yeah I think I'm definitely going to be rearranging this because it's not how I want it to be and like I said I don't have much fruit and veg in so I might get something to put the eggs in um and then i can just free up that space and then obviously i can get two more of these organizers on this bottom shelf here so we'll just see how i get on and when i'm happy with it i will share it with you guys hey everyone i am so sorry i forgot to show you the tiffin once i actually cut into it it's now two days later but when I made it, I actually made it because I was going to go to my mum and dad's the following day, which was yesterday. Um, so I did take it over there because I didn't want to keep it at home because I would end up eating so much of it. And as much as I love it, it's not the healthiest thing to eat. And it's just one of those treats where you just want more and more. So I thought it would be perfect for me to take there and everyone can have a bit and, you know, have it in moderation. But I will insert a picture over here somewhere 
so you can see what it looked like i popped it in a really nice little box and yeah i took it to my mum and dad's yesterday so yesterday um when i went there we actually went about 4 p.m we went quite late which we planned to do because everyone is fasting it's ramadan at the moment we wanted to open the fast together which was at around 8 p.m um but yeah we had a really nice time my sister got the girls so many easter treats they've got so many easter eggs which i'm now going to put away um and they'll just have them bit by bit otherwise they're honestly going to devour all of them and it's just too much sugar to have all at once so um yeah we got back a really late it was around i'd say about 12 um at night so we were all so tired Hannah went straight to bed um and yeah we pretty much were just so tired and I'm feeling so much better this morning I baked some bread this morning and um I'm gonna be closing off this video here but before I do I just want to say if you watched until the end thank you so much I do have a very exciting giveaway coming up so to all my air fryer lovers air fryer video lovers you know if you are one of those fans then honestly you need to keep your eyes peeled because i have got the most exciting giveaway coming up very soon so do remember to turn on your post notifications so that you don't forget um and you don't miss any of the videos because this is one you do not want to miss and you do definitely want to try and um be in a chance to win so that's all i'm going to say right now i don't want to give too much away but like i said that video will be up very soon um i'm going to say probably next week so yeah just make sure you are looking out for that video and once it's up i will explain all the terms and things like that but i just wanted to throw that in here just so you know there's something exciting coming up and I'm just so excited for it. So I'm going to keep quiet now, not say too much, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.